Harley's taking us up to check out the Central Washington Speedway. So I have never been on a track bigger than a 3 8 mile. That was the Grace Harbor Raceway. That's the biggest sprint car track I had ever been on. And that changes tonight because tonight I'm running on my first ever half mile. Check out how big this place is. The videoing doesn't even do it justice. This is the Central Washington Speedway. They only run on it a handful of times a year. Twice in a 360, well technically four shows. Two weekends, one in April, and then one in September for the state fair. So all these rides back here, you can go and check out the fair. If you get in the fair, you get in the races for free, like to go and watch uh, up in the stands. So this is a great event. I'm pumped to be a part of it this year. I'd never been to Central Washington Speedway, but I've watched a lot of videos and seen some great racing from this place. Now it is fairly flat, so I think it is gonna be, it's not like it's a high banked or something like Port Royal. As you can see, it's flat. I feel on a track like this, I'm gonna learn a lot tonight. There's things dealing with wing speed, dirty air, just you run bigger tracks a lot different than the bull rings we have here on the West Coast. And with me not having much experience on tracks this size, uh, a lot is gonna be learned tonight and I'm, I'm just, I'm pumped. I'm ready to get in the race car. Uh, stuff's gonna start a little bit earlier. It's a Friday with the fair and all, so I think the pit meeting's at four, so that'll be coming up soon. Just got off the track for the first time after mud pack and hot laps and you are flying around Yakima. Like I said, a half mile, we're probably doing at least 110, 115, maybe 120 miles an hour and I'm just speechless. Fastest I've ever felt and you know sometimes you kind of get used to it pretty quick but this was the first time or one of the first times when I've gotten a car and been in a big track like this and was like wow. But um, really, really fun. We timed, or we were pretty good. We just got to get a little bit better. Uh, we're going to be the second car out for qualifying, so that'll be up next, and you guys will get a nice onboard look of it. qualifying run here at Yakima. Uh, I need a little bit of work for sure. I was a better in hot laps, track was gripped up, and it just changed a lot more than I thought it was going to. I'm not sure where we ended up. First lap was completely junk because it's so flat here and I just got a little too high. I thought I was gonna be able to drive it much harder and I got deep into the corner and it stuck and then it didn't stick. It started sliding towards the fence. So first lap was gone. Uh, second lap felt much better, but I didn't have as much momentum and where it all kind of happened. So it is what it is. It's a learning curve. Stuff needs to be worked on, but uh, at the end of the day, we're gonna get better. And like I said, track just slickened off a lot more. So at least we went out early. Hopefully our time stays good. I'm not sure we were the first or second, second car out there, but uh, is what it is. And we'll take it all for tomorrow and see where we are for heat. All right, so fortunate enough, we went out early, ended up P3, third quick out of 24, 23 cars, so a great start uh, here with the Summer Thunder Sprints. I'm really bright, here we go. Right now they're doing some track prep, uh, they're watering in the top, it just got so, so slick. This place goes away in a hurry, but we really like it. It seems like a pretty solid track and it's big. So um, the pace is gonna slow down a lot since it's getting slick. And I think we're gonna start second row outside of heat number three. We need to finish in the top four.
the heat race is over. Car felt pretty good. Track's just super, super slick. This place, I would describe it as a giant Banks. Banks is tiny, less than a quarter mile, really, really small, really, really slick, and you don't really know what you're gonna get. And from everyone I've talked to and all the videos I've watched, you don't know what you're gonna get when you come here. And it's super, super flat. It's slick, it's flat, it's hard to find grip, and I went fourth to second in my heat race. I had a few things kinda go my way that helped me out. The first half of the heat race for me was really sloppy. I was burning the tires off, just getting on it too soon. I just wasn't sure whether to drive it harder or whether to try to roll around, because when I rolled around, I felt like people were pushing me around the track, but when I drove it harder, I kind of felt the same way. So it's definitely a fine line you have to find and just be easy on the throttle, pedal around, try to find drive, and uh, setup plays a big key here. A main event will come up next. We'll see what we pull for the redraw. Getting ready to strap in, A main event setting out. We pulled the three, one of our better pills of the year. Yakima, this is funny. So just as like a town and where we're at, uh, it's really, really warm during the day and it gets freezing at night. Like it's really windy right now. So that'll dry off the track. Since starting third, I think its biggest key is just to run our line and hit our marks. Of course, we're close to the front. If we have the chance to win, we need to go for it. But this place is tough. I feel almost if I ran my line, besides traffic really playing a key factor, no one's just gonna drive around you here. So it's like a giant banks. We're gonna give it all we got and A main events up next. Starting up front, so that's good. But lap traffic, man, it's gonna be dicey tonight.
Surprisingly, it just cut that right rear I showed you at the beginning. Man, I felt like another one slipped away from us tonight. Started like uh, third, started third, got up to, was running fourth, Colton and Heath kind of drove around us a little bit, and I was right there. I could feel the rubber kind of coming in in one and two, and I was just kind of biting my time, saving my tire, because when rubber comes in early at a half mile, I know you have the chance of, you know, losing that right rear with a few laps to go. So pretty much, you could throw a blanket almost over the top four, really, really close racing. I was not right on them, but I was just being patient, trying to put myself in a good spot to where if something happened like that or getting into traffic and someone made a mistake, I would be right in the fight for it. And pretty much they got into the corner. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but someone got into the back of the lap car, someone got loose, and the second place car, Borden, he was able to drive away from it, but the nine car kind of got sideways somehow, and I think 33 got in a little hot. It wasn't like anyone did anything on purpose or like someone took out someone. It was just a racing deal, and they stacked up, and I went to go to the outside of them from some previous experiences when I've seen some wrecks. I figured it's sometimes better to go around, and this place is wide, and that just was the wrong choice. So I kind of arc a break down. In, uh, just little time to react and they all wrecked in front of me and it happened that I got collected so that sucked we came back in and fortunate besides the tail damage you guys saw and the right rear getting sliced really we put a new right rear on went back out there and we drove from like 19th or 20th up to 9th and they cut the race short so I think if we would have had five more laps that we would have originally had because some rubber came in and stuff but even though there was rubber you could still pass it was still racy and we were still fast we were flying by cars uh, picking off two cars on a straightaway a car off the corner just really really good if we wouldn't have gotten that accident and we wouldn't have had this happen I'm pretty sure we win the race or at least run top three. We were really, really good and just can't catch a break. The last three sprint car races have not been that great. We were gonna win the two at Cottage Grove, had bad luck, and then tonight, another solid top three, like I said, or maybe a win and didn't get it done. Finishing the night with an ice cold Sprite. This is like my favorite soda ever. Anyway, we're gonna reflect on our first ever night in a 360 on a half mile here at the Central Washington Speedway. This place is pretty fun. It, it has some weird characteristics to it with it not having a lot of banking, banking, with it not holding moisture at all, going very slick, and then also how it took rubber in one end, but one end it really did it until exit. It, it just, it was a weird track. But it was fun and you could still pass on it, at least kind of towards the back. I didn't get ever into the top five late in the race to see if you're able to pass cars, but we were really able to fly by the back half of the field. And even when we were running up front, we were turning some very fast laps where we were definitely one of the fastest sprint cars on the track. Things I need to work on for tomorrow. Uh, in a main event competition, I didn't really feel like I did anything wrong, just was in bad luck situation, uh, getting caught up in a wreck. But in qualifying, if it's slick, working on not buzzing the tires, good throttle control, uh, not turning the steering wheel as much, using the wing speed and letting the car turn on its own. And then also just working on running the track properly. You know, hitting my marks, when to come off the corner, when to not hit a uke tire, getting close to those things, you gotta watch out. But tonight I felt like we did a lot of things right and I'm thankful for that. We'll get a little bit closer to the track. Can kind of get a look, this place is just big and it is fun. The fair is going on, we might head over there. We got over early tonight, so props to everyone at the Summer Thunder Sprints, a good night of racing, and I'm excited to cap off our 360 season tomorrow night for the fall finale of the Fall Brawl. If we bring the speed we had tonight to tomorrow night, we are gonna be a threat to win, and I'm excited. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. We're getting better and better, and I'm excited after not being in a 360 for a month and a half, getting in and being competitive. So uh, a good transition for us. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces.